Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and we have a, a new incident that occurred this afternoon at the Idaho Falls Research Facility. And I promised to get back to these graphs um, because of the plutonium explosion that occurred there uh, two days ago, which sent 17 workers to the hospital. That was on the 9th, as you can see here on the 10th, there's a beta count spike that's occurring. Of course, it's not unusual for this area, even though um, anything really over 100 is dangerous levels and 300 is supposed to be uh, levels where radioactive uh, protection and gear is uh, used by anyone exposed to the air. The gamma counts, there's a spike that occurred on October the 6th and uh, kind of a generalized uptick that you can see and it's not only in this graph but in many of the graphs and the only things that um, I could possibly attribute uh, would be the burning of the radioactive trash that's going on in Japan. Um, possible a new crisis occurring in reactor 5 and 6 which was uh, reported uh, about a week and a half ago that Hitachi was going to be intervening. We have not had any updates on that situation and ongoing fission that is occurring, although TEPCO is denying it, um, and the independent scientists said uh, that it is occurring, most definitely from some of the releases that have been detected at the plant. And the TEPCO cams are showing flashes again in reactor uh, one, two, three, and possibly the spent fuel pool in number four. And just to, to do a, a real quick review through some of these cities, if you keep an eye on the last month, of some of these graphs you can see that there is a, a baseline uptick. This is actually uh, where the graphs being serviced where you see these straight lines according to the EPA. That's an interesting one. Beta count's been disabled. Now there's a couple of um, news reports on the sodium explosion that occurred today and sodium is uh, is something that has, has been used in, in different types of reactors for cooling, although it was my understanding that Jimmy Carter had outlawed the use of that uh, a long time ago because of its inherent risks. Now because of this uh, facility also decommissions reactors, takes them apart, disposes of them, uh, the only thing that I could assume that has occurred is if, um, if they were, uh, in, during the decommissioning process, uh, somehow that these materials had caught fire from an old reactor. But I don't know, there, there's not a whole lot that's coming out. Um, there's sodium fire. Days ago, the director of the complex had said hazards were not thoroughly understood and controls were not properly in place in regards to the plutonium explosion. Uh, emergency workers were sent. The worker that was hospitalized with burns, I just learned that he has been released. And some of the uh, news accounts that I'm following, this is a uh, ABC affiliate on uh, Twitter who is on the scene currently. I haven't had any updates from her though in the last couple hours. It's being reported on the AP. And I've got a local link here too for anyone in the area. KTVB seems to be on top of this. So um, in regards to these two accidents this week and the, the fact that this plan is only uh, 38 miles from Idaho Falls and the, the overall graphs always seem to be pretty high in that area, but um, in light of that, I would keep an eye on this plant for any unusual steam or smoke releases. Uh, take extra care in uh, staying out of the uh, weather in terms of precipitation and um, remember that the first thing that gets controlled in a nuclear accident is the information that gets released to the public. Stay safe.